Well, welcome back, everybody. It is snowing again here in Minnesota, and go figure, we got a plow. I uh, really didn't expect this. It's April 3rd today. Really figured the season would be over. The last week or so was um, 40s and low 50s for highs. So really didn't expect any of this. Just locking in the hubs now. So yeah, we got a few inches on the ground. Back here probably four. I know the wind's coming out of these pines. So probably four inches though. So we are headed out and we are going to be plowing. We're doing an open up I guess because we've got more than four inches before 5 p.m. So we are going to be doing open ups, kind of getting everything cleaned up basically accessible for people and then we let it sit, wait till it's done and then come back clean everything else up. Hey guys, before we get started, I just wanted to say thank you to all of the subscribers. We just hit 1,000 subscribers on this channel. Um, it's much appreciated, everyone that has subscribed and watches the videos. All right, so we are on site now. We just wrapped up this one little section here, just checking the radar. Looks like we've got, we're the blue dot there. Looks like we've got some more snow coming. Looks like we got somebody over here going at it as well. White bear lawn and landscape. That's one of the first times they're here the same time we are. Cool, cool. Cool, cool. Second, that's the second time. So we'll keep moving here and we'll check back in with you guys in a little bit when we get over with uh, Colton and me dad over at the other sites where the skid loader's at. We've been demoing out that. Um, that Kubota SSV75. Thanks to Scott at Lano Equipment. So we'll go over there and check in with them and see what they have to say about it. Just got to one of these other townhomes here. Just pulled in. And you can see here somebody hit this. That wasn't there last time. So what we like to do is always make a note of that, make sure you have pictures, evidence, you can see my tracks are just pulling in, nothing's been plowed. Just so for whatever reason, if these people want to say after they hit something, you know, the night before, when it snows, and they want to say that, oh, I was a plow guy, he ran in there and hit that, so. I always like to make, uh, Make sure there's proof when there's new damage done to a lot that you are responsible for plowing. There's the Kubota in action. All right guys, so update, we are back at the original site I started at, and um, or I am there anyways, and cleaning it all up, just got most of it done. I've got one more left up there to clean up, and then we're gonna be done here. Colton has started going back over Manitou, and that is the site he's at now, with the skid loader, and he started going back over that, cleaning everything up uh, 100%. It is still snowing here. Um, it's pretty light snow though, I don't think it's going to accumulate to much of anything. We'll check the radar here, I'm pulling it up. But I don't think that's going to accumulate uh, to much of anything throughout the night, so I think we should be in the clear. Um, you know, at very most they have a half inch, and this week's going to warm up. Yeah, I doubt they'd even have a half inch. 
there's the radar there. Now you can see for the blue dot if you can see that there. But you can see it's pretty much breaking up to nothing, so. We should be looking pretty good then. I think we should be fine. So we're gonna do that. We have not gone to Harold's, which is the commercial lot we do, um, HPM. We've gotta go there yet, or maybe just I will go there, I don't know. Uh, all the residential driveways we do are done. Uh, my dad's doing them right now, Troy. And so yeah, we're looking good. We're in good shape. Um, update on the Kubota SSV75. It's, it's all right. I don't think it's as good as the case from what I'm hearing from Colton. Um, we'll find out more. If you guys want to hear more about that, make sure you subscribe or stay tuned. We are going to be doing a review on that down the road here, probably later this week, because um, that'll be ending up going back to uh, Lano and Anoka, because it is just a demo, like I've said in the other videos. So we are going to keep going here. I'm going to go check in on Colton once I'm done here. I've got probably 10 more minutes of plowing to do here, and then I'm going to go back over there, see what he needs help with, if anything. And um, yeah, we'll go from there. the uh, other site. Colton's just wrapping up here and I'm going to head over to HPM to do that. I'm just letting them know. So we'll uh, check in with you guys back there. What's up everyone? We are here, headed back now. We got everything done, everything wrapped up. I was on the phone the entire time. I was at the other site with one of the guys that used to work with us, Pat. Um, so I didn't have really much time to film, sorry. But we just pulled the guy out of the ditch right over behind my back, right in here somewhere. Uh, guys took off now, but I thought it was funny. I was headed back, but nobody else on the road, just me. And I see a guy in the ditch, and I drove right by him, and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna stop, help him out. Helped him out of the ditch, real nice guy, glad I did. 
gave me 20 bucks for it, you know, whatever, I don't really care, it's just nice to help, help somebody out, so I thought I'd share that with you guys, um, you know, and it's, it's good because right there we got the name on the side of the truck, so that's just another thing, a couple other people drove by with the, so it was, you know, they see somebody else helping somebody else out of the ditch, it's, it's winter in Minnesota, man, winter in Minnesota, someone's going in the ditch, it's just how it is. Roads are slippery, especially on a day like today where we had, uh, you know, we had warm temperatures all day. Snow was borderline melting when it was hitting the ground, you know. Just had a chance to accumulate. It's so it's real slick and greasy underneath. I slipped multiple times trying to help the guy out here. So, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I think it's, you know, it's good to help somebody out. Don't really need to do it for money never said it he had to pay me I just you know I pulled over asked if he needed a hand pulled the strap out and helped him out so really that's what's worth it to me just helping somebody out because I know later on down the road it could be me it has been me in the past I've got in the ditch before so I figured I'd share that with you guys we're headed back to the shop now I'm going to clean everything up and we'll uh, check back in there with you guys, so we'll see you in a bit.